Okay, in this uh, first simulation, um, we're going to look at a single collision. And so you can see in here we have, um, in the simulation, we have reactant A and reactant B, C. And we're trying to find out if there's going to be an effective collision. Um, we have on this side over here, we have our energy diagram. And we're going to also kind of pay attention to it to see the amount of energy. So you're trying to see if there is a, a reaction taking place here. And you're trying to determine if uh, the collision is good or not. So here we go. So in this, you're trying to determine, you know, is um, there enough energy? Is the orientation correct for the collision to occur in a way that a product will be made? You should be able to notice that there are no um, new products of like A, B being made. So, you should also see that your energy of this, of the two reactants is right here, which is not enough to overcome the activation energy, which starts down here and goes to here. So we could try to raise the temperature and see what happens. So even with raised temperature, we can see that there are none of these products being made. So there is another problem going on. So I keep raising the temperature and we can bring the temperature up above the activation energy. And now we see the reactants making products, the A, B new product. So here's a new product right here.